When I'm commu communicating in my past, I'm asking questions. Here's a tool for me. When I'm communicating at my best, I'm seeking first to understand what they're saying before I am understood. Seek first to understand and then be understood. I'm making it all about you. You know why? Because if I make it all about you, it definitely should reciprocate back to me. For me, when I'm communicating at my work, I'm rushed. I don't have time, and I'm saying, just get to the point. Come on. Come on, give me the short, give me the short version, please. Through powerful workshops, seminars, and keynote speeches, Sean promotes, inspires, and empowers thousands of individuals each year to take action and reach their full potential. Two people have differences of opinion, right? I think the golden rule is garbage. <laughs> Look at that look. <laughs> I like the platinum rule. You know what the platinum rule says? It says, do unto others as they expect you to do unto them. How about that? Do unto others as they expect you to do unto them. Now that's some good communication. Because in order to do unto you how you expect me to do unto you, I have to first do what? Come to you and have a what? Conversation. Self-awareness is the first step towards discovering yourself and your communication style. You have to make the choice starting today on what type of communicator you want to be. Effective. Confident. You know, people blow their confidence with arrogance. Sometimes when you're confident, they say you're arrogant. Right? Don't worry about it. Be confident. Because most people base arrogance on what? On their own levels of confidence and self-esteem. Fear is false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. You know why? Because one of the things we're afraid of, we're afraid of failure, embarrassment, losing power, rejection. We're fearful of the unknown. Okay, so if we have false evidence appearing real, and we're afraid we might fail, because that's what we're talking about, failure, how do we turn that into a positive? FBAR. Fail early and responsibly, because if you fail early and responsibly, you can do what? Pick yourself up and try again, can okay? So I like the question, do me a favor, just change it. When you say could, you give me a right to say no. So even if the kid comes back to you later, you have contributed to that kid saying no by saying could you. Like if I'm your boss at work, or even if I'm not your boss, if I'm talking to my kid, I'm going to say would you. There's a big difference between could and would. You know why? Because could gives them a right to say no. And I should be okay if they say no because you say could you. No, I can't. Okay, but what if you just change, we'll come right back to that. What if you just change could to would? What am I implying? That's being more assertive as a communicator. One word, one letter can make you assertive or aggressive or passive. The would you is implying, I know you're capable and I want you to do it. I'm asking you to do it in a nice way. Sean is a highly sought after speaker, trainer, coach, author, and entrepreneur. Through powerful speeches and workshops each year, he inspires thousands of youths and adults throughout the country.